Hello, in this segment, I will explain the difference between x plus plus and plus plus x. So I wrote two functions. I call one post ink, another one pre ink. Uh, post ink, as the name explains, uh, you increment the x after using the x. In the case of pre, you first increment it and then you use it. Okay. But let's look at, at the assembly level, what's the difference between these two. Um, the program, if you compile this and run it and call the post ink, uh, in this case, it should return zero, okay? Because x is zero here. Y equal to x plus plus means you will make use of x first, which means x is zero at this point. And then in the next statement, you will increment the x. So at this point, y is zero, x is one, okay? Y is zero, x is one. Uh, this is the under symbol we use in logic, okay? And uh, not to be confused with xr. Uh, what about this one here? y will be one and x will be also one, okay. If you write your own little main function and call these two functions, you will see y in this case is zero, um, in this case y is one, okay. But uh, what is the assembly uh, behavior for these two functions? That's what I'm interested in to, to explain to you now. Okay, I've already compiled it. I must tell you that you should compile as follows. A minus C because I didn't have a main function inside and you may want to add all warnings um, to, to make sure there are no warnings in your code. Okay, and uh, there may be more secure related flags, but at this point, that's not interesting for me. Um, okay, let's disable and look at the post ink code. Remember post ink means X plus uh, plus. So how can we see that here X plus plus? X is equal to zero and Y equal to x plus plus okay this is the post and returns y so we can try to map this easily x is equal to zero corresponds to uh, this line okay i'm going to go a little bit out of order to to quickly go to the point um, if you look at return statement int type the value is stored as part of the eax register the return value is stored as part of the eax register so that means and um, the value that we are returning uh, y must be part of the EBB minus four value on the stack, okay? So EBB minus four has the uh, value Y. The question now is uh, how is EBB minus four populated? It's getting, getting populated at this point, okay? Which means uh, we need to figure out how is EAX is getting populated. Uh, I can see EAX is only populated here, which means it's getting the value just from EBB minus eight, which is nothing but zeros. That's the reason why I climbed on the source code that that's the reason why I claimed that this program will return y to be zero. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now we can easily see that uh, the x plus plus is also in effect here. Um, the x plus plus is happening here. This is the place we're doing x plus plus. And um, just to trace it for you. And then once you do the x plus plus, you go and update the x value. Remember x values are stored, x value is stored at a EBB minus eight. That's the reason why you're updating the, your EDX back to, that's what, that's the reason why you're transferring your EDX back to EBB minus eight. Okay, I hope this, this is clear. Let me now explain the another function, disassemble the pre-ink. And the pre-ink function, um, let me write the code for you just to make it easy. Um, int x is equal to zero, right? Was the first statement and y was, well, int y was uh, computed by plus plus x right plus plus x okay so in this case uh, y will be one and x will also be one of course and let's see why uh, we can look at the assembly and map it very quickly so here this line of code is the one where we set x to be zero as you can see next line we are incrementing the value of um, x by adding one to the stack location and putting it back so at this point already x is incremented and then we update the eax register with the um, updated value of x okay uh, we also update the value of um, EBB minus four. What is EBB minus four? EBB minus four must be Y because we are returning Y in the code, which gets transferred into EAX here. That means this part must be Y. And where is this part getting filled? It gets filled from EAX. That is coming from EBB minus eight, which is nothing but X. I hope you got the idea. Um, plus plus X means you increment the X and then you use it. X plus plus means you use the X 
and then you increment it. That's the basic difference. 